So during the month of June, I've been watching a bunch of Nicolas Cage films that I have in the collection, and I wanted to take time today to tell you my top 10 favorite Nicolas Cage films that I've watched. Um, I haven't watched all of these during the month of June, but a majority of these I have been watching. Um, so this right here is all of the Nicolas Cage films that I have in the collection that I've chosen for my top 10, plus there will be some honorable mentions. So first up, we have at number 10, Wild at Heart. I really enjoyed this David Lynch film. Um, it's also starring Laura Dern. Um, it had been a long time since I had seen this one and I just recently re-watched it. I do like the performances. Um, it's not my favorite of the, Nic of the Nicolas Cage films, but it is up there and I definitely would recommend you check this out if you haven't ever seen it. Okay, coming in at number nine, we have Raisin Arizona. I did re-watch this one just yesterday. Really enjoyed it. It had been a while since I had seen this one. This right here is a Coen Brothers film. Um, also starring Holly Hunter. And it also has John Goodman in it. Um, just a really fun watch. Um, if you've never seen Raising Arizona, definitely check that one out. Now this is the one I saw back in the theater back when it was released. Um, Peggy Sue Got Married. This right here is Kathleen Turner and Nicolas Cage. This, this is coming in at number 8. It had been a while since I had seen this one. I actually haven't seen this one. I saw it in the theater, and then I saw it when it came out on VHS or DVD. And I haven't seen it since, but it still holds up. It's just a um, it's, it's a romantic comedy type film um, set back in the 50s. And um, if you've never seen this one, I would highly recommend you check that out. Okay, coming in at number seven, we have The Family Man. Um, this right here is a holiday film with Nicolas Cage. Um, kind of loosely based off of It's a Wonderful Life, where he gets to go back and see what his life would have been like in a certain situation. Um, definitely check this one out. It's a really good holiday movie. Okay, the other one I watched, this right here was a first time watch. It's The Weatherman. Really enjoyed the performance of this one. Um, it is a, it is a drama, I guess it's a dramedy, I guess. There's comedy mixed in. Um, just a really good story about family. Um, so definitely check out um, The Weatherman. Okay, next up we have Lord of War coming in at number five. I had never seen this movie before. This was the first time watch for me. I just watched it a few days ago. Really enjoyed it. I didn't really know what this movie was um, based on, um, but I really enjoyed the action and the story that was going on. Um, definitely check that one out. Coming in at number four, we have Adaptation. This right here was another first time watch. Um, this right, right here also has Meryl Streep in it. Really good story. Um, Nicolas Cage plays two different people in this film. Um, don't want to say too much about it, but if you've never seen Adaptation, definitely check this one out. I really enjoyed it. Coming in at number three, we have Snake Eyes. Um, this right here was a first time watch for me this past week. Really enjoyed it. I had never, I had no clue of what this movie was going to be about and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the twist. It almost seemed kind of like a Hitchcock film in some ways. Um, if you've never seen Snake Eyes, definitely check this one out. It's a really fun watch. Coming in at number two is a film from 1987 that I actually saw in the theater when it came out and it is also starring Cher. It's Moonstruck. I've always enjoyed this film. It is definitely one that you should check out. Um, it was one of Cher's best performances. Nicolas Cage had a really great role in this one. Um, really fun story. So Moonstruck would be number two. And then coming at number one should be no surprise, and that is Face Off. I've always enjoyed this um, particular film with John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. Really good story. Really good action. Um, I just really enjoyed it. If you've never seen Face Off, which I'm sure you probably have, this right here is a must-have to have in your collection. Now, some of the titles that I've seen that I did not include in my top 10 just because there were so many good ones, um, and there's also so many bad ones that didn't even make the list, but first up is Joe. Um, I watched this one last year. It's got Ty Sheridan in it also. Really good story. Um, makes you really feel um, bad for the kid. Um, but I really like the way that um, Nicolas Cage's character was in this story. Um, if you've never seen Joe, definitely check that one out. A really weird film that I really enjoy watching is Mandy. This right here is very hard to describe. It is a... I, I wouldn't even know what kind of genre 
to put this one in. Um, just very strange, very weird. Um, but definitely check out Mandy if you've never seen it. And then some fun movies from way back when uh, are the National Treasure films. We have National Treasure, National, National Treasure 2. I really enjoyed these adventure films from Disney and Nicolas Cage's performance. Always fun to watch these. Um, if you've never seen the National Treasure films, definitely check those out. So those are my top tens and some honorable mentions of some Nicolas Cage films. He has got such a massive filmography um, that there are so many films that you can watch. Um, lately, most of his films have not been as good as some of his earlier work. But he does have some really good surprises, such as um, Pig and a few others. Uh, but he's also got some pretty stink pretty bad sneakers in there too. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular top 10. And then also let me know in the comments below what your top 10 would be of your favorite Nicolas Cage films. And maybe some recommendations of some of his films that you would like to see me check out. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.